The name of Viv Stanchel is probably familiar to far fewer people than it should be. On his day, Viv was as funny as anybody ever has been, and far funnier than most. That there were too few of these days was the result of Viv's inability to resist the lure of drink and tranquilizers, and some combination of these presumably contributed towards his terrible death on March the 6th. Viv first came to public attention with the Bonzo Dog Doodah Band. The Bonzos had a hit in 1968 with I'm the Urban Spaceman, but failed to follow this with a rewarding sequence of chart biggies. They made several diverting LPs, were pretty huge on the college circuit, and an LP of performances recorded for Radio 1 is due for release in a few weeks' time, just as soon as I can get the sleeve notes written, in fact. After the Bonzos broke up, Viv continued to record for Radio 1, usually under the direction of John Walters, one of too few people who could moderate Viv's barmier excesses, and who had the foresight to see that here was an exceptional man who should be persevered with, even in the face of unreliability and prevarication, on an epic scale. The result of Viv Stanchel's work with Walters was a sequence of extended pieces, interspersed with songs, about Rawlinson End and the grotesques who peopled this hellish stately home. Whenever one of the irregular Rawlinson End episodes had been broadcast, the following weeks were spent fielding letters and phone calls from astonished listeners who wanted to know what it was and where they could get it. I have to admit that I was slightly alarmed by Viv in the flesh, not only because of his sometimes unusual behaviour, but by the feeling that I was face to face with someone whose thought processes were not only very different to mine, but vastly superior. I've always had a similar reaction to Captain Beefheart, and since hearing that Stanchel and Beefheart spoke regularly on the phone, I've been lying awake at nights wondering what these two astonishing men might have been talking about. Viv was a wonder, and it is fortunate that, although we have too little of his work by which to remember him, we do have this film to remind us of some of his many and curious parts. Canyons of your mind I will wander through your brain To the ventricles of your heart, my dear I'm in love with you again As lead singer of the Bonzo Dog Doodah Band, Vivian Stanchel was the court jester of the underground rock scene of the 60s. The quintessential art school band, the Bonzos, were a chaotic mixture of musical, rock parody and dada nonsense. Resolutely English, Stanchel and co brought an absurdist sense of humour and a love of slapstick to a scene that was already beginning to take itself too seriously. That night, cutie, called a cab. Baby, don't do it. She left her east side drum so dry. Baby, don't do it. Despite the magical mystery tour, the Isle of Wight Festival, and their solitary hit, I'm the Urban Spaceman, the Bonzos were perhaps too anarchic even for the 60s. Stanchel spent much of the 70s on the rampage with his friend Keith Moon, two madcaps living out of their wits. His oddball progress culminated in his book, record and film, Sir Henry at Rawlinson End, with a cast of very English characters, including himself as Hubert. I said, I hate drafts. Oh, a game the prisoners play. I like to comfort them on their way to the gym. In Omni Park, we said, come, bless them. But you, sir, with your varying and natural dignity, can only be. I am Hubert. I was found in a snowdrift, clutching a tiny bundle, and on my finger, no wedding band. Uh, do you like riddles? After a fruitful writing partnership with Steve Winwood, Stanshall fell out of sight for much of his last decade, his most visible work prior to his death being a series of extraordinary beer ads. Malcolm the porcupine went to sea if a moon of green cheese would float. He exhaled a spray of, will you go away, to the land where the hoppity oats. He brewed Humpty of Ruddles, which he dumped in puddles and licked up whenever it snowed. This Stanchel playlet is how Viv saw his life in 1991. Take it away, Viv. Out 
of it, my mama told me. You'll soon go up and dolly, you'll be normal. All this violence is just hormonal. Those of us on your arms are only scratches. Why must you make yourself so unattractive? Look at you wasting away. Music. What's that bloody rout? Call that music. Mama is my song and I might lose it. Only my noise is what I call it. To be is everything I ever dreamed of. I won't turn it down and be a good boy now Won't you look at me wasting away Wasting Say I'm wasting Why me? Why won't it stop? I don't know. Are there any clues? <laughs> clues? A few years ago, a woman from the Daily Mail phoned to inform me they were doing a piece on Sir John Betchman and they would like me to companion him in the article. I, being representative of a younger English eccentric, she wanted to know if I was still doing it. Well, I don't do it. I'm merely myself as near as damn it without frightening the housing estates. And her question was absurd rather than fatuous, as it suggests deliberation. It's rather as though you woke up and decided, I'm going to be a Ghanaian today, or I'm going to be a giant squid for the weekend, or that's it, or I'm going to be a wardrobe for the rest of my, my word. Uh, well, strap me to a tree and call me Brenda. I'm whatever you like, just don't expect me to join in. I do like games, though. You see, I'm not different for the sake of being different. Only for the desperate sake of being myself, I can't join your gang. You think I was a phony, and I'd know it. So, but my father would rather. I'm right on the edge now, bursting my banks. Heard enough. End of my tether. If I've told you once, slipping my moorings, I'm a reasonable man. Don't answer back when I've asked you something. You're really pushing it, aren't you? Don't think you're too big. Wipe that grin off your face. Who do you think you are, the big I am? I wash my hands of you. I'm telling you this for your own good. The answer is no, no, no. I thought my name was no. The man was no named. Normal people are called shut up, as I'm sure you know. Two, three, four. If you had the way to realize what you could do with your potential, if you had the way to realize you could be like me, you could be a barrister, a surgeon, pontiff, or a politician. Yet you choose to be a parasite in there. 